Hi there, my name is Warren Wheeler and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create your own post type templates uh, to make life so much easier and make writing articles faster uh, just by using Generate Press and their sections element and also a plugin called WP uh, Clone Page Post plugin. Now this is really really cool if you want to speed up the process of writing articles and make life a little bit easier because uh, I've been using this and it's helped me you know pump out pages a lot faster and it's easier to manage and um, you know structure your posts in a way that um, you know like it just makes life so much easier and I'll show you what I mean now uh, generate press is a premium theme they do have a free vi uh, like a free uh, version as well. I use the premium version. It's $49.95 for unlimited websites and most themes charge you per license but this is unlimited and it is an amazing theme. It's lightweight, has heaps of features and it's really really customizable as well. Um, I use it on AM Ninjas. I'm just going to show you real quick if no one's, if you haven't seen my website amninjas.com check it out but um, what I'm going to do just quickly show you this I've customized this a fair bit so uh, it's going to look different to the actual uh, let's have a look we've got site and, and the other thing about uh, generate press is you've got all these free um, child themes that you can use which are really really cool but you can customize your theme really easily so this is one of my full width posts and I use full width posts just about all the time because it makes people focus in on the content that you're, you want them to read uh, without any sidebar distractions. But this, let's just um, talk about how we can create templates and um, you know, how to make life easier when writing your posts. So if you actually go into plugins, let's install a plugin and that plugin, let's add new plugins is called WP Clone Post. Uh, it's actually called WP Post Page Clone. So once you see that, you can install it and activate it. I've already got it activated. And once you've done that, you'll then have this new option when you hover over each post. So as you can see here, it's got click to clone. And if you click that, it will clone that post completely. And this is going to be really handy for creating your own templates and hopefully it sort of sparks a bit of an idea in your head to do, you know, create your own templates. Now if I wanted to add a new template, I'd simply just go add new post. So as I'm creating a new post, I um, might call this review template. And then I would just simply save it as a draft. And every time I wanted to um, create a review page, I'd simply clone this draft post. Um, normally, it's going to get some lorem ips balm here. Normally you would write your posts straight in the editor like this and that's fine. You can do that if you wanted to. You don't have to use sections. So if you are using the free version of Generate Press, you can just simply do this. I just find this so much more easier and more effective. Um, you know, it increases your productivity as well because it just makes life so much easier. But instead of writing your content in here, oops, didn't get all that, we can simply use sections. Now, if you want to enable sections, you simply click this tick box here. And now we've got rid of that uh, WYSIWYG editor and we're going to add a new section. So say, for example, if you've got a product review, you might have different um, headings for each part of that review. It might be your introduction, it might be about the product, it might be benefits and features, it could be um, uh, pros and cons, it could be um, you know product comparisons and, and all that sort of stuff. So you might have a different section for each one of those and we could just go add new section and just for demonstration purposes I'm only going to add five. You might have more, you could have keep it at five or four. Um, but for each one of these, we can click on it and now we have the option to edit that section and we might call this the introduction and then we can put the introduction here. Um, you might actually 
you might come up with your own headline, so it might be um, product name review or my product name review. So you would just change this product name here to whatever the product is. Uh, you might give it a H2 tag. But the good thing about sections is you have a new settings tab and we can now um, configure some new design elements. So if I wanted to give this a background uh, color, I could. Or if I wanted to give it a background image, I could. And that, if, you, if you're going to clone this post, it's going to be the same image all the time, or you could change it whenever you wanted to. Um, but just say for demonstration purposes, I might choose this image here. Give it a parallax effect. I might give it a... Padding at the top and bottom. Click apply. And if we preview that, that background image is now under this H2 tag here, my product name review. Now, of course, for each one of these sections, you might come in here and write 300 to 400 words per section. And if you've got five sections, well, you know, it, it soon adds up. If you're doing three, say, say if you do 300 words per section and you've got the, the five, there's 1500 word article right there. So you just come in and just fill in that part. This section here might be uh, what it is. So what is product name? You just change the product name to whatever it is. You might give this a background color this time just to show you what that looks like. And click apply. Now of course it's going to look a bit funny because it's got no content. But what I'll do is I'll copy some of this lorem ipsum here just to show you. And we might actually even do Let's put a picture there. Uh, let's just put this picture here. Like so. And let's have a look at it now. now. As you can imagine, if you had some text at the top here, like an introduction, might be have your photo there as well, just to sort of introduce yourself, uh, what the product is. And then we might have another section um, Benefits, and of course you name these whatever you like. I'm just showing you really quickly what you can have. Let's just paste some of that dummy text in here. Leave it white. And as you can see, we've got a whole new section. And this looks really good on mobile phone as well if you're separating different colors. Uh, maybe you might want to do one section a light gray, the next section a white, and then the next section that same light gray again. It sort of breaks your content up nice and neatly. And of course you can put whatever short codes or um, design it the way you like, add images. Um, I'm just going to quickly just name these. So uh, maybe we go pros, cons. And of course this could be any for any type of content that you're going to be writing for. And let's just do with why. And just real quick, I'm just going to add a button using short codes. Um, yeah. By here now, it's just a simple button. Let's put some dummy text there. Maybe we'll give this a like a bit of a light blue color. And let's have a look. So this pros and cons don't have anything in it. I'm just gonna quickly let's make this that light gray. And have a look, see what this looks like now. So as you can see, it sort of 
it's kind of like a say like going through like a sales page effect uh, again up here you'd have some content and down here you'd have a bit more content for a different section and you can add different elements and shortcodes like I said before but the thing is now that we have this set up like I would like how I do it I don't have any content in each section I just have it labeled and named uh, the same as what I would for any other one that way I can simply just save it as a draft so you don't publish this template and then go in and when I want to create a brand new post like it might be a re product review maybe I'm doing a product review on my new keyboard that I bought key move mechanical keyboard um, I could just simply go click to clone and that's going to clone that post completely it's going to take me to the editor stage and I can call this maybe the key move uh, spelled wrong and then I change the you always have to make sure you change the URL as well spelled it wrong again alright and then what I would do is simply just go in here and add each section so for this one I might just swap it over to key move review and then I just focus on that section what I'm going to write so it might be hey it's Waza and today I'm going to review the key move oh, I always spell it wrong and then I just sort of break it in why people should listen to me I've been doing you know I've been using a keyboard for so long etc I've tried different keyboards and this is you know this keyboard has all these different features or you know just as an example I'm showing you this so what I would then do once I've done say 300 words I hit apply go in say what the keyboard is what it does and you know just give it edit this section here with about three, another three 350 words click apply and do that until I've finished each section and then you would go over it have a look and then publish it and that would be your brand new post and it just makes life so much easier instead of you know going in and uh, maybe you know like if I, if I look at this post You know, it's, it's sort of like a big wall of text and it's, you know, if you've been looking at a screen all day, it can be a bit annoying trying to find mistakes. Uh, if I found a mistake, I could be like, oh, where was that mistake? I'd have to search for each one of these headlines where I could simply just go in and go, okay, that mistake was in the benefits section and then boom. Um, it just helps you structure your content a lot easier. Uh, it will speed up the process as well I found writing content now is much easier and I can focus in on that one headline or like one part of the or one section of the content and yeah it's it's definitely um, gives you more options as well the design doesn't have to look like this it can look like whatever you have but yeah I just thought I'd show you this show you a new way that you could be using Generate Press or even if you're using a different theme you could still use WP Clone Post Page. Um, hope you like this video I'm just making it real quick uh, I'm going to try and make some more tutorial videos uh, how to use WordPress and how to make money with affiliate marketing SEO all that good stuff this year so if you're not subscribed to this channel consider hitting that subscribe button smash the like if this helped and also leave any comments uh, any questions in the comment section if you have any. Uh, have a great day. And thanks for watching.